I'm Stuart, and we're here at the Triumph Factory Visitor Experience in Hinkley. Hinkley is where Triumph's headquarters is based. This is where we design all of our motorbikes. Now, what I want to talk to you about today is the new Tiger 900. Now, we've got two models here. On the left, we've got the Tiger 900 GT Pro, which is more road focused, road orientated. And on my right, this is the Tiger 900 Rally Pro, which is road and off-road orientated. Now the heart of these bikes is the engine and it's all new. So what we've done is introduce a whole new concept which is the T-plane crank. What that gives us is the ability to offer more feel, more character and give the rider more connection between the throttle and the rear wheel, especially off-road. Now let me explain how that works. Okay, so this is a crankshaft. Um, I've just taken this one off the production line. It's not fully finished, it's just come out of plasma nitride in, so that's the hardening process. Uh, we've still got to polish the main bearings and the crank pins as well. Okay, so crankshaft is a fundamental element of an engine. It's what turns the reciprocating motion of the pistons into rotary motion, rotating motion, that then allows you to drive the clutch, then the gearbox, the chain, and the rear wheel. So, what we had before, we had 120 degree uh, crank pin spacing on the crankshaft. So these are the crank pins and they were spaced at 120 degree intervals. Now because the engine is four stroke, it means that each cylinder fires once every other revolution. So you get a fire impulse every 240 degrees. Now that's very smooth, very linear, um, fantastic engine, but we wanted more from that. We wanted more character, more feel, and um, a different uh, power delivery to the, to the rear tire. So what we've done, two things. We've changed the crank pin spacing to 90 degrees. So that's number one, number two, and then number three. Those are at 90 degrees. We've also changed the firing order to one, three, two. So, now, because it fires once every other, every, every other revolution, number one fires, it rotates 180 degrees, and number three fires. Then it has to rotate a further 270 degrees before number two fires, and then 270 degrees again before number one fires. So that gives us one short gap and two long gaps between the fire impulses, which gives you a completely different feel to the engine. Now what you can see on this animation is two crankshafts, and you can see the individual firing events. On the left-hand side, we've got the Tiger 800 crankshaft with a 120 degree crank and 240 degree firing interval. On the right-hand side, you've got the new T-plane crank with a 90 degree crank pin space ins and the 180, 270, 270 firing interval. Now what we wanted to achieve with the engine and the feel of the engine is not just about the crankshaft and the firing intervals. We've increased the capacity of the engine and to do that we needed to increase the cylinder bore diameter. We wanted to keep the same tight package size as we had with the Tiger 800 and we've come up with a really clever solution. So what we've got here is the cylinder barrels um, and originally these would have been three separate parts one per cylinder, and we had 74 millimeter pistons in the Tiger 800. Now we wanted to go to 78 millimeter pistons, and there just wasn't enough space to have three separate liners. So what we've done is cast them as one piece. And you can see now that each cylinder, between one and two, and two and three, they share the central wall, okay? Because only one is firing at any time, so you only need that single, single thickness. And that saves a lot of width and allows us to keep the tight package and reduce weight. Now this animation shows where the liner is in the engine and the increasing capacity along with the firing interval changes, an increase in crank inertia and a more responsive tune give this engine much more feel and character off-road and overall an increasing torque of 10%. So that's a little bit about the Tiger engine. There's more online about the Tiger range and all of our bikes. Thank you very much for watching and be safe.